Hello student, welcome back and today we are going to learn about Form 5, Chapter 1 Chapter 1 is about Microorganism So I, I believe in this chapter also we learn at Form 1, Form 2 or Form 3 I forgot what chapter already We also got learn a bit but Form 5 we, will, we are going to learn it again But basically nothing Many more things is added onto it Okay so microorganism we already learned what is organism correct or not organism means living thing micro means small micrometer micro school gauge microscope so micro actually it means small organism living thing so microorganism small living thing so of course if we are talking about small living thing we cannot see with our naked eye okay so again this is a updated corona virus from wuhan and this virus is the virus that killed many people mco i think it will be in the historical book uh, maybe 10 years from now 10 years from now maybe or 20 years from now when we read history buku teks sejarah I think they might want to put the coronavirus into the sejarah book because coronavirus pandemic is the worldwide lockdown so it is a lockdown in terms of worldwide so it's something is quite historical but it is bad also and there's a revolution revolution of online learning i mean we always use online learning but after covid 19 even more online learning like what we are doing right now so there's also a revolution in education keyword that we need to important microorganism fungus so we are going to study fungus algae protozoa bacteria virus flora vaccine ego pathogen aseptic stress so these are the things that we are going to look at this chapter microorganism means we cannot see in our naked eye it only can be seen in the microscope okay unless you you got a superman eye you want to zoom in and zoom in and zoom in then you can see a very very small living thing normal flora what do you mean by normal flora refer to microorganisms found including human and animal which does not cause disease so this one you just need to remember okay normal flora is a microorganism but of course microorganisms there are a lot of type virus bacteria uh, yeast and so on but normal flora just remember normal flora maybe just remember as a normal uh, it's a microorganism that found in a human or animal does not cause disease for example like this one lactobacillus and streptococcus for example you buy vitagen nutrigen you can see inside got bacteria so when you buy the vitagen and nutrigen, there is a bacteria inside but I will call this as normal flora because not only the bacteria is does not cause illness but it actually helps in your digestion so uh, Yakub also the one so if you if you take the thing and you read the Yakub behind there if I'm not mistaken behind there got right Yato Bacillus so it's, it's good for your digestion so yes later you can go and buy yakut uh, your assignment is to buy yakut and drink see whether got this word or not but if don't have this word then you google lah, see what is inside the the yakut okay uh, uretra staphylococcus and cyanobacterium um, in exam Maybe you just remember this and lactobacillus and this one streptococcus. Uh, you spell it correctly because if you, they ask you to give example of normal flora, you spell it wrongly, then you won't get any mark. So you just uh, remember the spelling. Actually, it's not easy. Uh, lactobacillus sp dot streptococcus. Okay, this one is easier to remember. This one I think is a bit difficult. Streptococcus or this one is the different and. Uh, cyanobacterium this one I, I think I think I say I think I think this one you don't need to remember okay just remember two is enough but if you want to remember four it will be better 
but usually I I just remember two. Huh? Because I think exam will come out two only. Okay, uh, these are the example. Hopefully, I don't think usually they ask in the exam uh, huh, about this thing. I say usually, but usually they will. Okay, small intestine, skin, upper rank of respiratory system, and so on. Uh, what is this normal flora? This one you just need to know concept bacteria that synthesis vitamin B12 and vitamin K. Now, the important so normal flora stimulate the production of antibody to fight pathogen. So, you can see even in the uh, Yakut advertisement where they can see the normal flora is actually a normal, like a good bacteria fighting with pathogen okay this one you just read i uh, read for your own understanding which is important okay not memorize when we learn science you don't memorize all these things but we want to understand okay no matter bacteria is a bacteria that uh, fight pathogen is a bacteria that can synthesize vitamin uh, 12 and vitamin k with uh, um, um, uh, normal flora, for example, lactobacillus can buy in uh, vegetarian and yakko. You need to able to tell it in the terms of a concept that you understand, not memorizing it and how you apply it. Uh, you apply it by buying yakko or not vegetarian. <laughs> because vegetarian got coloring. One day I visit, I say, no, because he say vegetarian not healthy. I say, why? He say, because vegetarian got coloring. And then the yakko say, I got no coloring. That's why you see the yakko only got white color. So, yeah. Classification of microorganism. Um, there are fungi, alga, protozoa, bacteria, and virus. So it's divided into five. Fungi, algae, protozoa, bacteria, and virus. Uh, usually the question will ask you to define what is this, what is this, what is this, what is this and compare. What is the difference between fungi and algae? What is the difference between algae and protozoa? What is the difference between protozoa and virus and so on? So you need to know the characteristic and you need to differentiate the uh, characteristic. Actually, I prefer it as a table form rather than uh, rather than this bit. Uh, let me try to find for a while. Okay, there might be. <laughs> I think I will still stick to the textbook. Uh, because the textbook everyone got. So I just stick back to the textbook. Okay, so let's look at fungi. Uh, many things to remember. I think usually I remember the example is better. Okay, fungi like mushroom, yeast, and mucor. It's very small, uh, as you normally exist in colony. The shape is unicellular. Uni means one, cellular is cell. So maybe it's like one cell, usually like one cell and one cell, like yeast in a small field. Multicellular, multi means many, cellular means many cell, like mucor as an example. So this is the yeast. You can see there is only one cell. And then we can see also a mucor. There is a few cell together. So fungi got di is divided into two. Okay, one is unicellular uh, fungi and one is multicellular. Unicellular is one cell, example like yeast. Okay, multicellular like mucor. Mom means many cell, for example, sporangium. So you, this one you also need to remember. Uh, example like sporangium. And then what is the shape? This one also you need to remember. Here already highlight you. Spherical and hipa. Spherical and hipa, the, the shape. So you can say hipa, the shape. Which are flat filamentous. Okay, filamentous is. Oh, here I didn't write one. I think it's this one. Okay, you can Google and check it. Filamentous is like this one, like from the word filament like. The light bulb, uh, the light bulb inside like got a the line, right? Filament light. So this is like the the line. Uh, you need to remember these three words, okay? Spherical, hipa, filamentous. If the question asks you to describe the the shape, uh, yeah. Though I don't know, I don't know whether it's important or not, but I know 
very rare exam sometimes it will come out sometimes okay nutrition usually all the bacteria virus that need energy uh, because you, whatever living thing you still need energy to survive and you need to live so some fungi are saprophyte means obtained from the dead saprophyte is okay the good one uh, not 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 everything is good okay but any saprophyte is to get food nutrient from the dead and decaying organism means die lah huh? decay already means going to die parasite which is the bad guy is obtain nutrient from their host means it will eat eat people like the maybe the dead worm is a parasite so he will start to in your stomach it will try to get all the nutrient and eat until the host die so if there's parasite usually we need to see doctor in our body it's very dangerous to have parasite in our body kutu for example kutu is a parasite they live in our body and they suck the blood and they don't give us benefit uh, but the good one we really learn like lactobacillus it will help us to fight against pathogen so they are good bacteria and also they are uh, bad fungi and bad bacteria but this one is uh, I did not bacteria we are still distancing on fungi so so it's not a bacteria later we will look at the characteristic of bacteria so this one we can see the example like parasite fungus this one I don't think they will come out in an exam okay but you can read it's called trichophyton how to read this rubrum rubrum okay so these are the bad bacteria that grow in your leg parasite maybe because of um, unclean not clean and obvious uh, because you didn't usually wash this part right and it's always wet with water because after after uh, and then maybe he wear shoe or always and didn't wash the leg so there is water so the fungus will grow in the person leg yeah so that is, so it, it didn't grow in our body before uh, unless maybe some of you have so so you need to uh, take care of your your health uh, cleanliness and hygiene if not we will get disease habitat usually all habitat in feces tapena the sheep animal skin and food usually fungi also grow well in dark and moist means the place got water and dark the fungi will grow so that's why sometimes you dry your clothes you want to put under the sun you dry your shoe you want to put under the sun so that it will kill the bacteria and also fungi huh? don't put your your place your near moist place around the toilet Stop hey yeah. then the, the thing also will start to spoil because it's got a lot of water so the, the it's very a uh, good condition for the bacteria and and uh fungi to grow method of reproduction this topic uh, i don't know how to make it interesting you know, because many things you need to memorize okay you just need to remember budding uh, okay so unicellular produced by asexual okay what do you mean by asexual um, for human okay so uh, for sexual is divided into two okay one is I forget the word already one is you need to require male and female okay there's a word for this but I, I, I forgot okay you need to require male and female but for asexual you can uh, without male or without female means you do you produce by your own so the process is called budding there are few process but one of the process is called budding so this is the yeast so you can see these are the buds one bud two buds three buds one bud four buds so they are making more and more buds to reproduce means give more baby and eh? reproduce multicellular as fungi okay 
as mucop also produce asexually means they no need to find male and female or sexually so the, uh, so they got two okay well asexually by spore or sexually by so they can do two okay so they can like marry can produce baby or no marry also can produce baby okay so how about we look at asexually is the by the spore i think you remember the spore this is the spore okay so it will break the spore then the wind will blow 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 to some place and then it stick into the place then it will start to grow all by conjugation conjugation you can see here conjugation okay uh, this and miss meet kiss 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 and then they will able to reproduce sexually spore are microscopic released by sporangium they are very fine in the environment will germinate without fertilization so again like they will fly and fly and fly all these fungi it will grow and it will fly and sometimes it is not healthy because then it fly let's say your house got a lot of fungus and it dry it the it will produce this spore so when it produce this spore you stay at there in the room let's say you say never mind lah, it's just the wall it's just the but nothing not important so didn't touch of course you didn't touch but they produce a spore so when they produce a spore the wind will blow so it will go to the person nose so that's why later the person got lung infection got uh, this boy that boy the the, the obvi <laughs> so you need to make sure that your your house also is uh, clean free from algae free from fungus uh, if not uh, then you will got a lot of, you will have a lot of sickness okay okay so we are going to take a five minute short break and i see you later